For my video diary, I went to go visit the old historic site of the original Wilberforce settlement, which is located in current Lucan, Ontario. In addition to a number of preserved monuments and original items of the town, there are a couple of plaques that commemorate the founding of Lucan, including the one that commemorates the Oberlin and Quaker initiative to establish a free black settlement in the town. Hello, here at the Lucan Memorial site here, 171 Main Street, Lucan. And uh, as you can see, there's two buildings directly behind me. One to the left is a museum for agricultural, uh, sorry, the agricultural center that Lucan originally was after the white settlers moved in, after the original Wilberforce set settlement. And on the right is one of the old uh, Ford, uh, original Ford dealerships that was operated for about 10 years in Lucan after it was discontinued in World War I. In addition to the two heritage buildings, there is also a plot commemorating the Wilberforce settlement of 1830. It explains that in 1829, a group of fugitive Negro slaves in Cincinnati, with the help of Quakers in Oberlin, Ohio, purchased 800 acres of land in this vicinity from the Canada Company. It was named after the great abolitionist William Wilberforce. The site remains one of the earliest Negro colonies in Upper Canada, and although its population dwindled rapidly in the 1840s, some families remained there for more than a generation. The site is significant in that it shows that free black settlements did not always thrive in southwestern Ontario. Differing from the examples of Buxton and Chatham, the Wilberforce settlement lasted less than 20 years. This was due not only to the harsh environment and location, but also fundraising and financial issues for the colony. Most of the families had moved out by the late 1840s prior to the Irish settlers moving in.